Khmer is Plagueis. But I don't know, actually. Nothing's being confirmed. That is just my current theory. Um, but, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I, it's probably Khmer is the apprentice to Plagueis. We do know Plagueis did have an apprentice before Sidious, and it's probably this dude. Um, if, in fact, Khmer is Darth the Teeth, as everyone's taken to calling him. But we don't know. Nothing's been confirmed. We'll probably find out this episode. Um, what happened previously? We had those centipede moth things. I've already... The Umbra Moss, that's right. We had um, Kelnaka dead. Um, that's about it. Other than the Jedi getting their asses beat down. We had... Um, what else? We had Kiati Mundi or Kiati Mundi, however you want to say his name. He's keeping secrets from the Jedi High Council for years, man. Like, <laughs> he's keeping secrets from him now, 100 years from now in the Phantom Menace, the prequel trilogy. Uh, is it the Phantom Menace? But the prequel trilogy, he's keeping secrets from them too. The Sith haven't been around for a thousand years and he's just, he's kept his word. <laughs> That's about it. Um, we did have someone that looked like Plo Koon in the episode as well. I don't know if it was him or not. He was just in the background. Um, but it has been brought up. Oh, and man, like the internet just goes wild with this show, man. People hate it. People like it, love it. I'm very much enjoying my time with it. Hence why I'm still... <laughs> I'm still reacting to it, excuse me. But yeah. Uh, people mad about the witches. People being stupid, saying that they're introducing these witches for the first time, even though that is definitely not the case. I don't know, man. If you love it, you love it. You're with me, you're with me. Um, I'm very much enjoying the... I don't know. I don't want to say hide of the Jedi. This is basically the beginning of the descent of the Jedi, really. Um, we see how very much they are to the prequel trilogy with the DNA samples, uh, the blood test, the screen testing as well for the Padawan. Uh, you know, things like that. Like things... <laughs> <laughs> things <laughs> haven't really changed much in a hundred years so I don't know it's very much like the beginning of the end we've seen how uh, <coughs> fuck me <coughs> uh, you know we've seen how hypocritical the Jedi can be um, and just how forceful they are when someone doesn't when they don't agree with something you know Nothing's changed. Jedi be the Jedi. People need to remember that the Jedi aren't exactly the good guys. They may look like it, but we've seen in the past, especially around the Clone Wars, that Jedi not the best in here. They're not the best either. Some people call them child stealers and all of that. You just have to remember that it is a religion. They are very much religious fanatics. Things be crazy. Now, now the way we ended episode four, we have the Sith guy uh, taking them all down. It was daytime then, but the sun has fallen, the darkness has come, and it is night. So let's get to it. Wow, oh, they're fighting, okay. So they're up and about and they're fighting. Ah, oh, he's dead. Didn't survive the initial blast or what? Oh, their training's purely defensive, yeah? Well, that Plo Koon gun just died. That's not Plo Koon then. 
Damn! Fuck. Well, your did put up a fight. A little bit. Not much of one. He's kicking their asses, man. Dead. Dead. Just death. That was awesome! Stab one dude, pulled him into it. Two in one. Fuck yeah, now. A stun blast, really? Nice! There's Sol. We actually gonna see Sol fight? Come on, intro. He handled what? Seven Jedi like a boss. Damn. Okay, so we seen of what? How many Jedi were there? There was nine, right? And so six are dead? You're under arrest for the murder of Master Indara. The murder of... The murder of Master Torben. Torben committed suicide. Didn't do that one. She had a hand in that. I don't know if she's actually the one responsible for that. Okay, that was a weird focus on the footwork, but all right. I don't know. Don't think Jackie really stands too much of a chance. But she's doing well. Oh. Well, I don't know, Jackie. She's a loyal pupil. What did he just do? Just smack it. With his fist? Is that what he did? He's got a glove? Is that what that was? I mean, she's spinning. That's always a good trick. He moves fast. It's the force speed, isn't it? That we saw in the Phantom Menace, but never saw again. Turn off your safe. Attracts them. Attracts what? Ah, uh, the Umbra Moss. Figured they'd come into play. Coward! You are going to betray me. How did you know? Forgive me. Okay, it's not a glove. It's just a, like a sleeve, some kind. It's not Beskar steel, is it? Right, these two work well together. Follow me. Run. We did this in fucking Hogwarts Legacy, didn't we? <laughs> yes, crack the mask. Who is he? Well, Jackie's dead. Damn. Dual sabers. <laughs> Dual wielding. Was that its name? Its name. Damn. She was a child. And yet she was fighting for you. You brought her here. Mm-hmm. 
Hello. Yeah, that voice switch. Damn. You attack me while my back is turned? Not very Jedi of you. I mean, May is technically a prisoner, so. Is it so bad if she, you know, dies? What are you? I have no name. Hmm. But a Jedi like you might call me... Sith. Sith. So he's not like a Dark Force user, he's a Sith. Why risk this Is he company? Acolyte, Apprentice, or Master? Oh, I, I did wear a mask. What do you want? Freedom. <laughs> The freedom to wield my power the way I like. No one says you can't, I other than the Jedi. The Jedi like you. Mm. I want a pupil, an acolyte. Mm. But this one went back on our deal. So it doesn't answer if he's master or apprentice. Hmm. Both you sabers busted? Surprise. Damn! Yord's dead. <laughs> I didn't actually see that one coming. Yes, everybody was kung fu fighting. I like it. Wanna put him in prison? Get answers? Him. Hell no. Is that her lightsaber? Oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> it's just a light. Okay. <laughs> but that'd be something if that was like her lightsaber, yeah? <laughs> she just sacrificed Pip. Why did he say I shouldn't trust you? Because you shouldn't. What did you do? Please, Usha. I'll explain. Please do. In detail. Damn it. They invaded our home. Invaded? Well. Hey. No. You're the violent one. You started that fire. Still. And I would have been dead too if it weren't for the Jedi. They did force their way into that meeting. They've brainwashed you. That ceremony, whatever it was. They've turned you against me. You turned her against me! You have done that yourself! <gasps> You're a criminal, May. You must pay for your crimes. What are you doing? What I came here to do. Arrest you. Don't do this. You did this to yourself. You followed a false master. You have allowed this Dark Lord to twist your mind. So did you. Don't lecture me, Obi-Wan. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I do not fear the dark side as you do. Okay. She gonna pretend to be her? What extraordinary beings mm. we are. And this is Osha. Nice force heal. Even in the revelation of our triumph, you see the depth. Of our despair. Well, damn. So, Jedi are dying left, right, and center. Um, Soul is really the only Jedi that walked out of that place alive. Um, May is Osha. Osha is May. Um, Basil's there. He saved Pip. But I mean, yeah, he came in. It is Camille. Um, still didn't quite answer the question of whether he was master or apprentice. 
Uh, we know he's looking for a student, an acolyte. Whether that's the same thing as an apprentice, I don't know. I think he could just be an apprentice. It could be that um, Sidious, Dooku, um, Ventress type of situation. But who knows? Nothing's confirmed as of yet, but yeah. I mean, he really took them all out. Just there was some sweet moments there. Like he stabbed one Jedi, pulled him into the saber. So it was like he took two out in one. Um, pulled his saber apart, dual wield, and then just quick stabbed Jackie. And all the rest, they just, they just died. Um... The uh, martial arts fight between Sol and him was pretty good. I have to admit, it was done very well. Um, we know that we can't trust Sol. He hides his face from his pupil, apparently. So obviously there's, as we already know, there was more to the story of what happened on... Brandok, that's the name of it. Um, and that day, we don't know how May survived. We don't know how, uh, Torben got his scars. We don't know how the generator exploded. We don't know how everybody died. Like, there's still a lot of, an uh, a lot of questions that need answering. But, uh, yeah, other than that, just other than death. We had the Umbra Moss as a distraction. Um, Hogwarts Legacy style with the Merlin Trials. That always pissed me off in that game. Um, yeah, and his little... Camille's glove arm brace thing. I don't know if that's Beskar steel or not, but he was punching away those lightsabers like it was nothing. So I don't know what it is. I'm going to go with Beskar until I'm told otherwise. But yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Obviously, not a lot did happen. Just a bunch of fighting, a bunch of death. And we got a... Oh, yeah, we actually... Right at the end there, we did get that force heal. So... That was all right. We got a lot of force pushing, a lot of grabbing sabers, no force chokes or lightning or anything like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I enjoyed this episode. We did get some answers to some questions. Uh, there's still a lot more left to be there, <laughs> but it is what it is. That is it for this week, guys. Join me next week for episode six. And as usual, if you'll enjoy this reaction and want to see more, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, join me next time. I'll see you there.